are these people? Stella Assange, we all know who she is, right? Uh, this week was World Press Freedom Day on Friday. Um, she has a, a substack, also stellaassange.substack.com. Here's her meeting with Jeremy Corbyn. And she asked everyone to record a video um, for, to speak up for Assange, taking part in that, um, to record a little something saying that I'm speaking up for Assange on World Press Freedom Day, free him, free us all. Show up on May 20th, which is the new hearing date. So they that was one of the things that they wanted to get through. Um, here is one of the things that's just kind of promoting this. So she shares kind of weekly updates like, like we do over at INN Stack. <clears throat> but I noticed that there was an absence of A, talking about the journalists murdered, and B, talking about Julian Assange on World Press Freedom Day. There was a lot of gaslighting. Uh, for example, Reporters Without Borders decided to say that there were zero killed and zero journalists detained as of today in the United Kingdom. Ooh. So our friend Matt O'Brien, how the fuck does RSF International omit the greatest journalist in the world that's in jail in the UK? Why don't you just surrender us to all tyranny, all to tyranny with your cowardly silence? Or better yet, fuck off and let someone with integrity stand up. And then this one. Um, tyranny. Which... Here, here, this clown. Even the CPJ says that he's not a journalist. Yeah, except for all these other organizations that state otherwise. In 14 years, nobody's provided any evidence that he did anything but award-winning journalism. If you have it posted below. Now, we can yeah. debate whether he's a journalist. No, you can't. And he's also a publisher. And it's political. So therefore, you cannot keep him locked up. Let him go. Julie. Julie. This, this shit was wow. And it got Misty so yeah. pissed off. World Press Freedom Day is always good for some insane hypocrisy. How many times have these douche canoes been asked about Assange and refused to answer? Shut the oh, entire fuck up your mouthpieces for power. Dude, I'm not going to play inflatable this. Inflatable Saga. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm i not even going to give Saga the credit. I'm going to call him Inflatable Vivek. Um, okay. But this is this is the gaslight of all gaslights. It's less than a minute. Ah, screw it. Fuck. From Let's war zones to angry. oppressive regimes, every day journalists put themselves on the front line in search of the truth. They shine a light on injustice. Oh, they hold leaders the accountable. They tell the stories needing to be told. It's selfless uh -huh. work and it's essential work. It's through their reporting and courage that we become aware of all that is happening across our planet. And it's only by knowing we're sorry. that we can work toward achieving progress. We're sorry. Today, we honor oh, yeah. the journalists who have risked their lives and for some lost their lives in the quest for the truth. Whether you're in the briefing room with us or reporting from a country far away, thank you for using your pen or camera to help us understand all that's happening in the world. Even when you're call even when we're calling you out for being corrupt lying motherfuckers, thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. Don't lie on the public platform. So another fucking douchebag. Without protest, we would still live in a segregated country. Without protests, women would still be second-class citizens. Without protests, the LGBTQ plus community would be still hiding in their identities. Yeah, great. Except that you're now going to vote for the anti-Semitism bill, you dickhead. Your financial support. So Misty very, very astutely points out that if you support the First Amendment, why haven't you spoken in defense of journalist and publisher Julian Assange? And some asshole, Google is free, literally quoting a tweet from 2019 where he never mentions Julian Assange. Now it's in response to Assange being locked up six weeks after he's taken from the embassy, by the way. So just to remind this price asshole, is long, bitch. five years since April 11, 2019, zero mentions of Julian Assange's name. Zero requests to Joe Biden and the Justice Department to drop the charges, which as a senator, he's perfectly welcome and capable of doing. And zero mentions of Assange on the Senate floor by Senator Fuckface McSheepdog. Bitch, I hope the fuck you do. 
And I, I'm embarrassed to say that I went all World Press Freedom Day without mentioning these two, these two giants, these these two kings, while Dad, Dadu and Motaz, who spent 2023 running for their lives and are thankfully healthy and alive. This dude that saw yep. his kids, both of them that have seen their children murdered and continue um, to report and fight. I, I love these guys and I'm, everyone should be following them. Motaz has about a million followers. Wild has another 685. They should, they should be the two most followed guys on this platform. They don't even tweet here much, but, um, I wanted to to make mention of the over 120 Palestinian journalists who were murdered, and I don't think there was nearly enough support independent media. We need it more than ever. I love you all. Good night, fam. Good night, fam. Mwah. Ciao, baby.